going? Where are you going? Come here, look. I'm going to be making another uh, adapter. Right. For the 56 Chevy. Oh, like for, you did. For the, right, but for the other side. For the I other. I don't really want to take chances. I just, it's better that if way. If you spend a little more time, you'll save tons of time in the long run. Just, right. Just make Plus, another one. It'll be professional. That's and right. you know what? I don't have to go run into hardware stores because I got this. Really? That helps. AGS, check it out. Oh, I remember that. They sent you a whole assortment. This mostly breaks stuff, though. Yeah, yeah you'd be surprised. But it, it, uh, you'd be surprised. Let me have a look. Remember? Yeah. That guy we know? Yeah. He was Turkish. His name was Mustafa. He was a body man. Real nice guy. And so one guy, he had to repeat himself like five times about something stupid, mm -hmm. right? He looks at him and he goes, but listen, I am Speckum Chanis. <laughs> he was great. That you was got one? Good old days. Yeah, I got it right here. Oh, see? Now you gotta weld the pipe in the front of it, right? Yes. Let's go. Knock it out. Here you go. All right. Make it happen. Good. This is what it's gonna look like when it's done. See? So now I'm gonna brace it. You know why I'm gonna brace it? Because it seals. I'm going to seal it around here. It's pipe threads, so it gets bigger as you screw it in. So, we're going to brass this, brace it this together, put it in here. Alright. And this is basically what I got. Here's the piece I made. Remember, I made another one that goes in the front. Right here. So now, I'm going to put one here. So this way, I have a fuel filter in the fuel pump. Alright, once you, once you put that on, you can put the fuel pump right in the middle. Put the fuel pump right in the middle. And then at least jump it before you wire everything up. Make sure that it's sucking gas. Of course. There you go. That's tight. Okay. You guys are gonna jump down my throat. See how it's black? Down here is red. It's positive. It's just a test to, to see if to it sucks it anything out. out. Maybe we gotta do other stuff. Hey, alright. Oh, it's buzzing. It's buzzing. Anything coming out? Not yet. It says it has a corner tank, but maybe the gauge doesn't work. We're gonna check my own way. As soon as you see dripping, you know, stop. Obviously, it's got gas if you see it getting wet. There's not sh in there. Ah. Nothing in here. The gauge doesn't work. All right, we gotta go get right. gas. Let's do it, baby. Pour, pour. Be careful. Okay, go ahead. Good. Let's connect this hose and we should be in good shape. I'm supposed to have power where the points are and I don't. It's supposed to spark between there and the ignition's on. So I'm going to start with cleaning the points, checking the gap, and checking the spots where it should have power. Alright, I got power on the positive side of the coil. Look. Now I have spark at the points. Look. See? So now, let's hit the key. There's an old trick they used to do back in the day. Today, it was like a little warm and the choke didn't need to be on. So they used to get a screwdriver and stick it into here. Because the heat from the exhaust manifold goes through this pipe and into here and opens the choke. But that takes a while. So I'm just going to do it like this just to test it out. Now, let's give it a shot. 